Hey guys, welcome back to the Native Family. Today I have another Dollar Tree haul for you guys. I have a wish list and I have been going in a little bit more trying to find the last couple items on my wish list. Today I did not find any of those items, but I did come across some good deals and things that I always repurchase. So I figured since I was in there, I would pick up the couple things I always get. And I did come across some new items. I did have Rhiannon with me and she needed some things for her new business adventure so we picked up some stuff i'm going to share it with you guys if you're new here welcome and if you're returning hey family if you could do me a huge favor check your subscription list make sure i'm still on there if you guys haven't subscribed yet go ahead and smash that subscribe button hit the notification bell and if you can thumb up this video i would greatly appreciate it because that does help us get into the algorithm so with that being said let's get started okay so i do have a ton of valentine's day stuff and the majority of it is not mine this is for rhiannon's new business that she is doing my oldest daughter is into making jewelry and she's going to finally start an instagram page and maybe an etsy shop her jewelry is absolutely beautiful and i'm so proud of her but she wants to include certain little goodies inside of her packaging when she ships out her um, merchandise so she found a couple different little cute valentine's things to include in her package and these are just the little six piece little like slinky heart shaped things so those are really cute and then she did pick up these packs of stickers you get let's see an 18 piece and i think you get like what two four six eight stickers per sheet and they're really cute these are the ones that are in here super cute so she'll be including stickers in her packaging as well. And she also wanted these little ballpoint pens. You get 12 of them in here. And these are super cute. Even if you're going to do little Valentine's Day things like uh, drop them off at your neighbors or if you're still in office working, just putting cute little things together like this really could put smiles on people's faces just to remind them that they are special. But those are for her for her packaging. She also wanted this 26 piece felt stickers. These are really pretty. Look, they have a little gem in them and they do have different colors. You get the soft pink and the red and pink. So that's pretty good for a buck. Then she found this eight piece stamp set and I'm gonna keep some of them, but she's gonna keep a couple of them too. And these are the different designs and I bet you guys can figure out which ones I'm gonna keep. There is a little hidden gnome holding a heart right there. Absolutely adorable. And of course they have the red truck with the heart. This one says you rock hugs. That one's a regular heart. Um, XOXO and let's see, what does this one say? Love, what does that say? Nev ne Love never fails on that one. And then the heart with the little paisley design. So for eight pieces for these cute little stamps that can fit on your pencil, super cute. Uh, let's see, we'll move this for right now. This one is actually for Nina. Um, my kids love doing the perler beads. We have so many of them. We even have glow in the dark ones. But this one is Valentine's Day and it says love. And to get this for a dollar, you get 229 pieces. So perler beads can add up. Trust me, I've spent quite a few pennies on perler beads. So it's a great little project for the kids to do, especially being stuck at home right now. For Rihanna's packaging, these are the goodie bags she picked up to put her jewelry um, after she puts it into the cute little silk bag. She will be putting it into this and adding the goodies with her business card and then we will putting this package into the mailer. But you get 30 pieces and it's just a fun design and you know you don't have to keep this for Valentine's Day. If you have a small business, this is really cute packaging. Then they had stickers. I love stickers, but I try not to buy a lot of stickers, but these stickers were super cute. I'm gonna split these with her as well. I really love the cup of coffee with the heart, of course. And this right here, this is adorable. Isn't that so cute? And you get 29 pieces. I haven't bought stickers for a little bit, except for at Michael's, I did get some planner stickers, but like as far as cutesy stickers, I haven't really been picking up that much. So for those of you that are new, I absolutely love French Bulldogs. It is my, um, say, how do you say it? It's my goal in life right now. I'm going to be getting one, hopefully. And I am just looking for the right place and the right time to do so. But I love French Bulldogs. I always have loved their character. The little noises that they make, they just make my heart smile. Um, so until then, I will keep getting cute little items with French Bulldogs on it. And they have these two packs of socks. These are the five to nine. I only wear about a nine and a half inch shoes, so these tend to fit me pretty good. 
Um, if you have a larger foot, uh, if you put these in the dryer, they might shrink a little bit because that's what happens to my girls because they wear a size 10, but they're pretty stretchy. They're not super thick socks, but for two for a dollar, you can't beat that. And it's got my little French bulldogs on it. It makes my heart smile. For Rhiannon also, she wants to put in little thank you cards when she does her orders, and she just got the one that says thank you. Super cute. And these are Hallmark Expressions cards. Um, I don't know. They Oh, they go for originally $3.89. So to be able to pick these up at the Dollar Tree, super good deal. These ones are really cute too. It's just a bunch of silly little smiley faces. These remind me of like the stickers when we were in elementary school that you would get if you were good. But those are really sweet. So that's to start her off with her, like I told her, her new business. Um, we do our own nails here. I'm actually giving my nails a break from doing another set. But I do like the Kiss Super Bomb um, Pink nail glue this stuff is awesome and even if you're doing the press on tips you can easily get this to last two to three weeks so i do highly recommend this kiss brand and they only had one or i would have picked up more these were interesting and the girls needed new boy i just went blank new tweezers wow so, <laughs> sorry guys um they are by sashi and chic i don't know the um how well they are made but they do have the cute comb. If this doesn't work for grooming eyebrows, then we'll just use them for crafting, but they are cute. And they had them, I think, in a teal and in a black, but I picked them up in this cute pink. Then they had name brand eyelashes. And I've told you guys, with us being home, the girls are being more adventurous with makeup. They're doing more cosplay, just, just having fun because we are very artistic here, whether it be with painting, drawing, you know, jewelry making, even down to makeup. It's been really fun to be more artistic lately and to be able to find name brand lashes with the adhesive. Now, I don't know how well the adhesive works because everything ends up at the Dollar Tree for a reason, but the lashes alone are super cute. These were in the Valentine's Day section. They did not have these in the beauty section, but this one is the date night, and this is the one I picked for myself. I don't really do a super dramatic um, eyelash when I do wear falsies, and I tend not to wear falsies all the time. I was very blessed with very uh, lush eyelashes. I think that's how you say it, but it is always fun to throw on a little bit more of a dramatic look. And then Rhiannon picked up the Feeling Flirty. These are just fun. They have the little glitter along them just to play with. And these are super dramatic. If you love dramatic eyelashes, get your butt to the Dollar Tree and pick these up for a buck. Because I kid you not, these look like little, look, they look like little furry animals. <laughs> but she wants to try them out. And this is in Lovesick. And let me see. It just gives you the directions on how to use them in the back. But she picked up three pairs of those. So we were definitely stocked up on eyelashes and it is nice that they are name brand. Another name brand beauty item is this Wet n Wild One Step Wonder Gel Nail Color. Um, it's not really, let me see if I can open it for you guys one handed, hold on. Let's see if I can do it. It's not really the color of the container I think she got this one that's more of a teal color, but it's really pretty. So we will give that a try. I think she already tried it on one of her fingernails and she said it dried well. So that was the only one like that. This is a repurchase when we do go in there and we can find it. Um, this is the compared to EOS, which we love the EOS brand. We have used the shave cream plenty of times before. If you have sensitive skin, this is really a nice shave cream for a dollar and it's a good size. Um, what else can we get to? Okay, let's get the food stuff out of the way. These are always a repurchase. I love, 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 love. My entire family loves these spring rolls. You put them in the air fryer. They come out so good. You eat them with some sweet chili sauce. And they are all vegetable. So if you guys like, you know, going to the Chinese restaurant, because a lot of times I would just go to the Chinese restaurant just to pick up spring rolls. And if you can find them at the Dollar Tree, they're just as good, if not better sometimes. I really, really like them. I always repurchase refried, no, refried, dried beans so that I can make refried beans. Um, I've been trying to steer away from any of the canned beans because of the sodium intent, you know, content, the hubby needs to be on a very low sodium diet. So I have been doing all homemade beans. I cook them in the Instapot. That's pretty much the only thing I really use my Instapot for is like doing dried beans and, you know, meat and things like that. My kids won't eat really anything casserole -y. But long explanation, I did pick up two of these. It's a good buy for a dollar. Another thing that I absolutely love running across is their spices. 
Now I've told you guys before that I do like the Kingsford brand. I think I also got the Longhorn Steakhouse seasoning, which I use for fajitas. The um, Red Lobster seasoning, which is great for shrimp boils. But this one is the Garlic and Herb. I highly recommend this. Making some homemade garlic bread. I mean, I put it in pasta sauces and I was out and my stores are getting very slim pickings on these. These have excellent shelf life too. These are good until 2025. So if I can find them, I pick them up. And these were two that I could find. I just needed another thing of parsley flakes. They always just nice little color to your dishes. And it's a big one. This one's like 0.49 ounces, but look how much you get in there. And it's really bright, very pretty. This is something that I wanted to share with you guys, and I don't know if I've ever shared it with you guys before. You've probably even seen it and maybe even picked it up, but I am diabetic, and my kids, I don't do a lot of heavy juices with the kids, even though they're bigger. Um, we're not super into sweet drinks that way, but this is the Old Orchard Healthy Balance, and it is diet. The mango tangerine only has one gram of sugar in it and seven calories. I absolutely love this. I love every flavor. We also picked up the apple cranberry, now this one has a little bit higher calorie um, count, but it only has one gram of sugar in it. It's not bitter like some of the cranberry juices. Um, the straight cranberry juice is absolutely amazing as well. They also have uh, diet peach tea, diet lemon tea. If you come across this brand, I highly recommend it. This is actually good till November of 2021. I stock up every time I see it. And it's been very popular in my area, so I was, wasn't able to find it. But I will easily buy five bottles of each if I come across it. I kid you not, that's how much we enjoy it here. Then they had Udi's. Udi's is so expensive. This is for my gluten-free people. Udi's Cranberry Granola. It has cranberries and walnuts in it. It says that it, well, it is a vegan product. So if you guys are vegan or vegetarian, this is amazing. Gluten-free. 31 grams of whole grains. You cannot get this for under a buck. I'm trying to see when the expiration date is on here. Um, I cannot see it. Okay. Well, hopefully it's still good. So very good deal on that one. Um, books. I'll get to these right now. Okay. So my youngest daughter is very much so into Jane Austen right now. For Christmas, we got her the leather bound uh, Pride and Prejudice. She absolutely is enjoying reading it. Well, to come across the Dollar Tree to find the Pride and Prejudice and Zombies, this is an awesome Dollar Tree find. We were just in Barnes & Noble and it was $14.99 there. This one is in a leather back and it also has the um, silk little bookmark in it. This is an amazing gift. Nobody would know that it came from the Dollar Tree, especially if you have a youngster that's into these kind of books right now. And the whole zombie part of it is just a nice little twist. Highly, 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 highly happy about that one. Then they have this. It was wrapped in plastic. I opened it up to kind of give you guys a preview of it. Um, this is the exquisite book. This is where a hundred artists play a collaborative game where each page is a different part of the story, but it through the artist's eyes. Now, this was amazing. And it originally was $29.99. Like I said, it was wrapped in cellophane, but I wanted to open it and show you guys how beautiful this book is. If you like mixed media art, if you enjoy different types of illustrations, this book is very beautiful. Now I can show you each different artist and it tells you what each artist enjoys, what kind of style they draw, but I wanted to show you how this book is laid out. So each chapter opens up. Let me, oh, I forgot to show you this. I'll show you that in a minute. So each chapter opens up, and this way you can see what each artist has chosen to do for their part of the story. So it goes in like this, which is so unique. I absolutely love this first rendition right here. Beautiful. And then it goes on to each different illustration, and then it goes on to that. And then you flip it onto the other side. Look how beautiful the volcano is. I mean, this is really a beautiful book. If you have an art lover in your life, or if you just want it, you could cut these out, frame them. That's very Harry Potter-like. Um, you could do that as well. 
I'm really kicking myself because they had one other one on the shelf and I really wish I would have picked up another one. But again, like I said, these are absolutely beautiful and interesting. So love that. Look at how beautiful that is. Wouldn't that be beautiful just in a frame? Especially that one there too. That's very rustic looking. And again, you flip it over and look at that. Isn't she gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous. I am loving it. Very different, like I said. But this would be an amazing gift for the artist lover in your life. Look at the little girl with the butterfly wing. So I did pick that up. I am pretty sure I can guarantee you that my kids will be going through this and picking their favorite parts of it. Now, here is a throwback snack. They usually sell like the three pack little boxes that we used to eat when we were kids. I love popcorn. That is one of my guilty pleasures. Cracker Jacks is amazing. I love the peanuts in it. I could have bought a whole case of this, guys, but I didn't. I only picked up one because I didn't want to do that because I know if I buy it, I'm going to try to eat it and it's going to put my sugar up. But this is an 8.5 fluid ounce bag of Cracker Jacks. You cannot pass that up. Plus, my kids will pretty much demolish it. Anyways, I like their, um, their microfiber uh, washcloths. You get a four pack for a dollar and I like to remove my makeup with these. These work really well. So basic black then they have these cute pebbles now i've been watching a couple of other haulers that have found the cat face shaped mat which i'm looking for for my um moni but this is the pet bowl mat and i just thought this was really pretty it says things like snuggle caring um faithful it's just really cute and it's just to put your you know food and water dish on and i'm going to put that over by her cat tree because that's where we keep her dish but that is my dollar tree haul if you guys like these kind of videos, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified of when we upload new videos. And as always, family, don't forget to be kind, inspire, be inspired, and I will see you soon with another video. Bye, guys.